Alright, what's good, motherfuckers? This is Leon Red. And I'm, I'm gonna talk about... I'm gonna connect two little things I've done. And the reason I'm doing this is because I realized that in the process of making my Liberty vs. Freedom video, I've actually come up with something. Now, I've always made fun of the liberal versus conservatism argument. I've noticed that it's cyclical. It's definitely cyclical, and by building up the national conflicts, you're creating disputes that can't be solved domestically and foreignly, and that could lead to impossibilities, issues where it's not as much that they're inconvenient, but that there's an impossibility going on. It's inconvenient if you have like a um, a swollen penis it, or a minor wiener infection. It's an impossibility if your dick's cut in half and you're bleeding that you have to deal with that kind of problem in regards to your penis. And that's a bad axiom, but if anyone has a question on that, then I can make a better one. So basically, you're in a situation with these issues of national consensus that could be dangerous to be handled on a monocentric level with a high population on a national scale, either domestically or foreign. But regardless, what I want to talk about this is the main topic is connecting them. I think liberal versus conservatism is very unique to the issues of liberty versus freedom. Now, as a libertarian, I'm an advocate of liberty. Yes, I'm using libertarian realists, layman's terms, because they're that simple. I'm an advocate of liberty. And I believe that, let's you say an example, they legalize abortion. And then someone says, the, well, the liberties haven't changed. The freedom has changed, though. So, what I mean is that the liberties haven't changed. They haven't been abridged. While sure, you can make the argument, oh, his right to life has been disrupted. And others would say, but his... But their right to get rid of a kid they shouldn't have had has been disrupted if the other way would have happened. But the thing is that no liberties have been changed. The liberties have been minorly tweaked, but they haven't been abridged. They haven't been shortened or transformed. And what's gonna happen is that if the conservatives pissed then his liberties haven't been changed his freedom has been changed his subjective sense of freedom has been abridged and what that does is that well vice versa if it's the liberal who's pissed about something that the conservative had advantage over then they could argue that their freedoms in the state have been damaged and they can start a reform trying to change this law and that's where the cycle starts and that's where the cycle that I've explained actually takes note regardless um yeah that's a good connection though I didn't expect that so what happens is that all in all, there are situations nowadays where national aggression is rising up and it becomes cyclical because no liberties have been changed. No liberties have been abridged, but freedoms have been abridged. So one side who feels that their freedom has been abridged or someone else's that corresponds to their emotions, that they're going to be pissed and it's going to lead to this. So that explains it. Uh, so next time you see someone make a law 
about legalizing gay marriage and the conservatives piss or illegalizing gay and the liberals piss think about it like this none of their liberties have been altered their freedom has been altered either way it's undesirable because the state's working with of the states doing something like that which is causing these impossibilities and you really don't want that stateless society there wouldn't be these rights or abolishments to nominal laws of national interest that will become cyclical because they don't deal with liberties they deal with one's conception of freedom then none of this can happen where people are making these ridiculous things now what can happen is that with polycentric law the liberties to life can be preserved and protected and what people commonly view commonly throughout the world view as right not just liberties and freedoms but also protection if it's illegal to kill people, legal to rape, legal to steal, that big thing, then, yeah. But at this point, I'm talking about the rudimentaries. Those will naturally form. So, yeah, I got some new good content out of this, and I'm going to do another video soon. So just you wait, bitch. This is Mr. Rocka7 and suck my cock.